one. How's it going, everybody? It's your boy, Glorp. And we got Pac-Man and Zep. We are treated to a match today between uh, two outstanding competitors. And this is going to be a good one to join, uh, to, uh, to watch. Watch, yeah. Any, uh... These guys' playing styles are very similar to one another, so we'll probably see a lot of yellow. Unless Zep plans on, like, because he's been, um... Uh, obviously working on other things recently, like a bunch of red and blue, mainly red. Yeah, so we'll see what I've he ends up playing, uh, playing with. Hey, he's been comicking or uh, mimicking a lot of my red. Oh, so, nice. Like, <laughs> so like uh, he's even got his own like play style towards it. Like uh, rather than like how I would like keep it on the ground, he's putting a lot of stuff in the air. Mm, so yes. So we'll see um when he ends up pulling out. Yeah, we we got to see a little bit of that yesterday with uh, Zeph doing his Cyberdyne match as he did win uh the off week lottery to play uh, mm -hmm. cyberdyne so this is actually his yeah, second like match first this five week. matches were like all air red it seemed like on yes. that match i think he uh i think he was trying stuff out and trying to shift his meta a little bit it was really cool to see and this is the much more of the zeph i'm used to seeing right now uh, wait up until that happens <laughs> yeah opening up the red right so close to pac-man pac-man takes advantage of that that's uh gonna be... pac-man is, is used to seeing that type of stuff too trust me like um i've i pretty much used every type of red timing you can against him and he's kind of adjusted to every single swing so mm. he's he's used to seeing red he's ready <laughs> yeah he is ready for sure okay let's switch perspectives i'm pulling this up i'm gonna switch over to pac-man God, I love he, watching Pac-Man fight. He's not quite on alien status, you know, and like countering red, but he's he's pretty close. Yeah, it is hard to use uh, red against him. And there we go, Pac-Man pulling ahead again with a 3-0, starting the match strong. Yeah, I think Zeph's going to realize here pretty soon he's going to have to start using a lot of yellow. Is the GF... Yes. So we're we're experimenting with the setting that the uh, so where the players cannot see chat, so that spectators they can make comments and stuff if they want to. Um, it's advised to wait till the end of the match, but um, if you really want to prevent um, chat from being seen, you can trigger that option as a player. So we are going to be making that rule change going forward um, and distributing that command widely. So that's going to be a quick. Kind of admin update, taking advantage of that pause there. And nice shot. Ooh, Zeph with that nasty yellow drag. My goodness. Pack is down to five. Yeah, you gotta get him with the bow swings right there, the right and the left. Mm. That's, I mean, that's two yellow drags, and that'll, that'll take you down to five HP, no problem. And Zeph, there you go. The beautiful yellow meta. Yeah, he, he's noticing he was down 3-1, to one, so uh, coming back strong. And if you notice, he's trying to hit people on the end of the swing. You know, right. he's always trying to hit on the end of either the right or the end of the left. That right. way you can cause the, the drag damage when you pull away from him. Yeah, you see that immediate pivoting left right as he as he uh, as Zeph starts to hit you more. Oh, That's there's the right. Right red. There we go, Zeph evolving. As we see a nice uh, red right connect on Pac-Man. It's gonna be three two. Now, Pac-Man, I do firmly put within the top five category um, right now. Oh yeah, he's fighting for it just like I am. Yeah, uh, I'd say there, there's a chance we could see a Pac-Man champion, Dojo oh, champion. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I see it uh, happening. He's gonna come up with his games against, um, well, this one, uh, Scorp, yourself, and Windu. Yeah. Yeah, he's a, he's gonna be a contender for sure. But Zeph, man, and that goes for everybody too. Like, um, like uh, whoever like loses the most against those players, even Alien. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, he could he could win this as well if, if he focuses on it. Absolutely, and that's gonna be three three tied ball game as Zeph comes back and evens things up. How will Pac Man respond? Mm -hmm. 
Oh my Look goodness. All the red by Pac-Man, holy shit. That is both pretty decent and adventurous uh, red parries by both parties as they both try to like, push through. That lunge has cost them 60 points yeah. in, in the game. And Zeph sharpening up and is now going to be 4-3. Yeah, you had it. If you would just followed up with some blue, got a, a poke in, we would have had it. Yeah, what do you think? That's is... what I'm noticing myself. Like, yeah. uh, just uh, once you get like a, a solid good red in, stop using it because then it forces the other person to try to do the same to you, and you can take advantage of that. Mm, that's that's a good point. What would you say is a key for Pac-Man to kind of like come back and rebolster his lead? Are you seeing anything that's going to give Pac-Man? the edge coming back into this fight seeing as he's now lost I think five in a row now yeah it's lost five in a row but like he's just gonna have to go back to his counter style that's what he's good at yeah I think so that patient uh counter style is exactly as you described I think that's something that we're oh my god it uh fails to capitalize on the red parry yeah but they um they both took the same amount of damage ah I see good trade good trade <laughs> Oh, beautiful yellow by Zeph, my goodness. And that's going to be 6-3 Zeph. Is, he's... Yeah, I think uh, uh, Pac-Man has tried a few things, and he's not going back to him anymore. You know, right. he's, he's trying to experiment different things now. He's kind of oh, lost. Yeah, if you're down 6-3, you need to make a major adjustment, or else this match is going to be out of sight. And so we'll see if that comes for Pac-Man, or if he... What kind of things have to change in order to make this uh, still a viable match for him? I like the red. I think that's a good idea. Um, but it's also very risky. So it's, it, that's really an all-in strategy. I teach people to always try to uh, tip with red while you have hit points. Yes. Like a, once you're below 70 uh, to 60 hit points, once you're like a two shot, then you really want to like, there you go, well done Pac-Man. Yeah, really nice really yellow like, from Pac-Man. Um, Stay away from it, or like, um, you only use it if you really know that you need heavy damage. Right. Oh, and, oh, I, I feel he like if he aimed that, up. that could have been really good for Pac-Man. You know what I have not seen from Pac-Man, though? Ooh, there you go. And that was amazing. Parry. I think the red parries are a way to go. And I would also... kind of weak to the parries. What's that? He's kind of weak to the red parries. Oh, absolutely. He doesn't, I, don't think he has, I don't think he has tons of experience with um, holding down on the, uh, the attack. Yes, and kind of pushing through, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know I haven't seen a ton from a Pac-Man, maybe it's just like tactics prohibitive because Zeph is spacing out so well, is lunge. I think if somebody's Pac-Man dancing... doesn't lunge. What's that? Um, he, I don't think Pac-Man does lunge. Like, uh... I think he's old school like that, kind of like um, ice and um, how... Because back in the day, there was just kind of like an unspoken rule that, like, you don't lunge. Right. You know, it, was, it was, like, very frowned upon. Gotcha. No one, so a lot of people didn't do it. And that's why even myself, I'm just trying to learn how to, like... Uh, I don't have the muscle memory, so I've been teaching myself. You know, how do you get it down? Right. Yeah, now that it's become meta again, it's even encouraged. It's got to be something both players have in their tool bag. Well, in all honesty, it's in the game. Yes. You know? Right. If it's in the game, you can use it. And it's not cheating. It's not hacking. It's part of the game. So, right. And it's very easy to counter. Yes, as well, it is so. extremely easy to counter. And usually very easily telegraphed, too. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, but there is a, um, a place for it, for sure. Yes. There's also such a big difference in when a player lunges. They Their floor space is way more respected, knowing that a lunge could come at any moment than somebody who doesn't lunge. Like, you can kind of push them and prod them and go all over the arena with them, kind of control their movements. But if, they, if I know that they're going to lunge, then I'm going to respect their space a little bit. That's true. But also, at the same time, you could be looking to counter that lunge. Yes. You know, like, you're, you start to expect it, and you're like, all right, I know it's coming, I'm going to, like, get this one attack ready for it. Excellent point. Oh, and Pac-Man looking to bust through with that red, and that's, we've, he's had some success using that. Oh, and beautiful blue parry in the scramble, my goodness. Pac-Man making some He'll nice adjustments. 
I'm sorry, what was that, Dojo? You don't see tons of blue from Pac-Man. I don't know, I usually don't. Um, yeah. um... Nice to see. I remember teaching him the one-twos, kind of like um, how I've been, because uh, I've been using a lot of blue recently, so he's been fighting me with some blue, but mm. I'll see him using it in, uh, duels often. Gotcha. Ooh, the <laughs> open lunch. lunge. And Seth reads it's out awesome. like a boss. <laughs> A, that's a big. That was a big loss. That's uh, gonna be eight six. But this match is very easily still anybody's game. As we go eight six, uh, Zeph's lead. Ooh, some air yellow from Zeph. Very interesting. Also, I think Pac-Man is also new to matches. The whole like uh, pressure type thing, getting to the to end. I don't ah. think it's just something that uh, he's done tons of. Gotcha. Yeah, the, the, the difference between a match and a duel sometimes can be far apart. It's a best out of 19. It is a test well, of yeah. It comes to uh, concentration and endurance. Yes. You know. And when you fight the same person over and over, you, um, you can't use, utilize the same moves a lot because then they'll just start picking up on your rhythm. Right. And Zeph is far more experienced uh, in that respect, I believe. Oh, for sure. For certain. That's going to be 61 to 33, Zeph's advantage. Oh my goodness, and a beautiful red coming in. That red has been beautiful to see. It's I like to hit people with a lot of that same red as well. And Pac-Man with a blue parry. That's exactly what happened with the last kill. So we dealt with a lot, we dealt a lot of damage with that tomahawk uh, upper red left and overhead red. And then we followed up with a blue parry to finish once our HP was low. It's really nice to see a great adjustment from uh, Pac-Man. That's using mainly yellow now. I mean, he was using these games as practice. Oh, there we go. Look at the right red. And that's going to be Zeph coming up 9-7. Very good match between these two. Let's see if Pac-Man can ba come back and clinch it. He's got to win three in a row. Oh, oh that, that was that a hard hit. I heard the burn. Yeah. Batman's got to go hard or go home. This isn't the time to scramble. I think staying in red is actually... Oh my god, that was actually a good idea, but he needed to follow yeah, up with another him. swing. And there we go. That is an excellent match between these two competitors. So much fun to watch. I had Dojo join us, by the way, in the chat. Thank you so much for your input and your commentary, Dojo. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Fantastic match, you two. Peace.